Okay, back at that house. See what they left here. It's, the guy said I can take anything I want. Paper clips. Green tire money. Left it a little bit. Well, they left, left all the green tire money, most of it. Oh, look at that, they left it all. Okay, well, taking this and this. But they said uh, I could take anything I want now. So we have to look at exactly what's here. Take a big box. This paper's actually pretty good too. So, what did I leave? I don't think I left very much to clean up the garbage. Oh yeah, they took everything. Yeah, they took that shelf. They left that behind. So I wonder what they left behind. It's a big mirror, but it's damaged. Oh, look, it's just ready to fall over. So all the drywall is asbestos, all the drywall, texture is negative, but the drywall is positive. Metal windows are positive. We'll leave it. There's a bathtub here. I want this, this is what I'm going to take. I want this bathtub, but let's see if I can disconnect it after. I don't have much tools, I didn't expect look at the AC unit here. It took a lot of stuff. AC unit. Well, that's a bummer. There's lots of stuff in the basement, but who knows? They left left these tires behind. I'm gonna take these today. I don't know what they're off of, but how's the tire look? Actually, the tire looks actually pretty good. Hmm. So what they're gonna do with this house is they're gonna take the whole back end. And it's going to go this way, another 700 square feet, two levels. So the whole back's coming off. We may have left all the winemaking stuff, possibly. That's a lot more. They took one, they took something out of here, I don't know what it was. This could be, this whole thing stainless steel, I think. Yeah. Take it out. Let's take what we can. We'll be doing the demo here, probably, most likely. Oh yeah, it's nice, nice and heavy, gonna add to the collection. Not sure what it's for. Did they open this up at least? Oh yeah, perfect. Yeah, it closed last time. Oh yeah. Weed eater, tarps. Said they're leaving everything, so said I could take anything I want. That's how you find tools all the time. See, stuff like this you get all the time. Oops. Shovels. Axes. What the hell is this in here? Hmm. So I'm not going to bother with like 
like these lawnmowers for now. Because uh, I could get that when I'm doing a job. I'll just grab the basics with the value stuff. in here all painting stuff that oh yeah it's more taken well I want to look at this thing here again this thing here I think it's an ice ice box yeah put a coca-cola stencil in there it's an original ice box it's old Empty. Hmm. Okay, hold for a second. We'll go to base for next. Well, yeah, they took a lot of. They took all the bottles. I was hoping to leave the bottles. And uh, Max. Hmm. So we we're pretty well cleaned it out. Only left the fire extinguisher here. This one here. Problem is, liquid in here is dangerous. It's um, tetrachloride or something in here, usually. It goes like this. It hangs up here. Something like that. There. It's brass, but liquid is dangerous. Oh, it's brass. Really, not much here. Yeah, too bad. I knew there was just too much stuff last time. Dad's private bar. cleaned up everything I can't believe it that's the wine press actually damage we'll left the pelt gun here or is it a 22 might be real the spider pelt gun pelt gun but super heavy I like that I'm taking that Something doesn't look right here. Oh, well, pelt gun anyway, it's heavy like a real gun. Oh, they clean this up pretty good. One oil can here. Extra. This is worth five bucks. Taking that. Hmm. They took the fuse foosball table. I thought they would. Looks like a nice one. Solder. Brass keys. Numbers. That's probably the house numbers. That's their house numbers. Oh, we have the signs, big signs here. Grand Republic flower. Tootsie roll. Denver. This is probably real, maybe. Both Denver Broncos. Solder again. Screws. 
We got a Tupper container in the car. I'm going to grab these things here actually. Iron. But most of this iron stuff I can grab later. Look at the spiders are all over the place. Look at that. They're everywhere. Guarding the place. This electric mortar on this thing. It's a gun case here. Army. Maybe army. Or something. It's, it's an old one. Hmm. Brass trinkets look like brass. Okay, well, I'll be filling a container up anyways. Paints. Some little mortar here. Look at that, huh? What's it for? Hey, it's aluminum. Hmm. Oh wow, it looks like plastic. So what was it for? A chainsaw probably. Yeah, chainsaw. What are these things here? Disappointing. I think this pelt gun is something wrong. It's been filled or something. There's some better light here. Yeah, you can't put a pellet in there. It's been something that look right there. Hmm. I just wonder if it was a real gun before. It's a, it's a chain pellet chamber. That's a poem. Definitely a pellet gun, but hmm. doesn't have. Uh, we put the one seven seven pellet in there. It's too small. Like they jam something in there. There's a little hole, but I think it's too small. Some brass bells. Mm -hmm. Okay, so what we're gonna do here eventually is all this is gets gutted, all the walls, paneling, ceiling, and then uh, they're gonna be lift this house up. It's be ten feet total from ground level, ten feet up, but it'd be higher because we can dig a footing, all that kind of stuff. And then they blow the back out about 15 feet and then the roof will come out this will be 10 feet and eight feet the roof line will change so it'll be higher so this is only about what six six feet here maybe 10 so four feet higher at least four feet higher so i'm not too impressed i mean a few trinkets i mean i guess can't complain, but just uh, I was hoping to get bottles or something at least. They took one washing machine away. Or was it a dryer? Yeah.
What is this here? Gum. Chain lube. You can use that. And this thing is just some kind of scrap metal. It's probably aluminum, I would think. Yeah. Well, there's a few things here. The rainy season's coming, but the, it's going to actually be good weather coming tomorrow for about a week. Lots of sun. So I don't know how I'm going to move this stuff around. If I park in the back, maybe. Everything's down here anyway, so I can park in the back and load everything that way. The alley's really wide, so there's lots of room, which I'll probably do. I don't know. Bike rack here. That kind of stuff I can grab later. I'm not too worried. So the tires and stuff I'll take today. We'll see. I just got a few things in the car. So tires, three tires and wheels, but they look like pretty good tires. I'm gonna be able to sell them. Depends on the size. Can't really see what they are. Reno GT Ultra HP. Okay, so what I'll do is I'll park it back and make sure the gate opens. Okay, stand by. Okay, big rim here for a fire pit. Heavy, heavy. I'm gonna throw a little bit of uh, just tin in, not bulky tin, but just something I put it in. Basement, I think I got almost everything except those vacuum. Like this bike, the truck, piece of aluminum here. So many spider webs, I don't leave it, even my house, my yard. Just in the last week, spider webs everywhere. They weren't there before. And they're attached to things like 10 feet away. Okay, I'm gonna go back upstairs now. There's just a couple things I want to take, like paper clips and getting entire money. It's really only about two, three bucks here. <coughs> so I fished in the shed. I 
underneath here, I just grabbed one. I think it's a five gallon Demi John. It's got a blue color, so it's quite nice. See if they can put the bin here, right against the house. You're perfect, perfect height. Some microwave there, but that kind of stuff I can worry later. Not too worried about the small stuff. Maybe nothing here. money 10 cents and five bucks here still worth taking for sure I don't know if they give money out anymore they could be collectible now I'm gonna stop giving money they put it on your credit card or something so some of this money is collectible I'll take that Take the paper, the flashlight here. Mm, they work. This junk. Oh, something in here. Two-way business radio. Oh, it's in there. Hello, hello. I heard, oh, I heard a click on the other side. Probably just one channel. That would be kind of handy. Two way. You'll find out if you're allowed to talk in that frequency. This is just ink and junk. Say they can sell this stuff, but I don't know who's gonna buy this stuff. Just the shipping kills you, that's a problem. Your brother. Not too worried about that. They're transparent, I think they're labels. Okay, staples, money, this radio. I don't know if see exactly what it does. Might be good if I'm mail texting. Well, depends if I'm in land. I can talk to the wife back and forth, especially if I'm on the beach or something. If it works or not. So, there's not really much left here. Brother's buddy's supposed to come by here, look at the job. He quoted a price, but he never looked at it really. I told him you better look at it just so that you know. I mean, it's not a lot of drywall, but you know, the price has got so high. Now everybody has to be certified. It costs money. It costs you five, five hundred two thousand dollars to certify him at one person. And your insurance is five, six grand a year. So I'm saying it costs a lot of money to do business. You know, these jobs, they used to do these jobs for like six, seven thousand years ago, even six grand, but everything was cheap back then. Labor was a little cheaper now, everybody wants 25, 30 bucks an hour. And they're, you know, half of them want cash. Well, how do you pay cash? I mean, the odd time for part-time stuff, it's okay, but not full-time jobs. So, I don't think there's much more. The bad thing about it, I kind of like to oh. turn around with that thing. Take the board off, it's too heavy. So, I'm gonna take, come back here. That's for that, uh, that little rack that was sitting here. I'll take this to the car. I wanted that plastic actually. Let's see if I can undo the bat tub just to get it kind of ready. Even if I could flip it, it would be good. Take the take the legs off it for now. 
They usually legs get broken. It's weather. Well, hopefully tomorrow's nice. They say all week, it'll be good. Up to 10 days, five, six days of good weather and then cloudy after that. That's a damage on here. So we've got a nice little window there. Just a few things, I mean, nothing special, but I'll take it while it's here. Take a little bit now, and the less things to take later if I do the job. Mortar should be five bucks. Make enough for my gas to come here. That's the rack here and a glass one on top of it. It's got a lot of things outside. Not sure if it's old, but it's heavy duty. Little wine, wine thing, so. We have one at home, but maybe my daughter wants it, right? We'll see. Uh, go back to the basement. Um, I'll just grab a couple things here and there. Um, so I grab most of the stuff here. Oh, brand new. I just just put brand new batteries in this thing. Lighting that bright. I need a better. Better thing. I know my buddy had a flashlight. It was ten times brighter than this. It's just a little flashlight. So I think these energizers are too old now. Just outdated. Oh, the door doesn't even close. Closed enough. This heavy iron. That. that thing like I said I can grab stuff later so I'm not too worried I can carry it now it's not so heavy the mortar is probably about 15 pounds I'll take that squiggly thing there's a guy floating around the alley it's funny I saw him once he turned around came back again like he's going on my car homeless kind of looking guy on a bike he had a he had one of those foldable chairs, those cloth chairs that fold in a square on his bike. So I don't know, it's looking for scrap. Even this wrought iron, it's the right person, it's valuable, but it's hard to find people. Asbestos, but it's not. Okay, we'll keep loading slowly. Got okay, the stained glass window on the side. Look, look too bad from here. So nothing special, but good. Okay, looks okay for condition-wise. Okay, we're gonna keep moving to the back now. I don't know how can the uh, let your uh, microwave look like this. I don't know how. If there's just even a couple little spots, the wife freaks out and says, eh, you made a mess in there. Look at this. Unbelievable. No wonder they left it behind. So basically, I'm right here. Get rid of this thing here. This is just the kind of garbage. So Snow's gonna use this crap. Pipe brass, some of it. The top's in pretty good shape, but I don't know if it's refinished. I have to look at it in better detail. If it's original, then quite a bit more if it's refinished you know it's it peel it'll start peeling but I don't see no peeling here so it could be just someone kept the care of it <clears throat> okay 
in the water there. At least if I take these things off, I can get the can get this out. If the water drips, it doesn't even matter too much. I can shut the water off too. So, yeah, see, it is a rental. See how heavy this is because I may have to take it another day on a dolly down the stairs. Brass here. So I probably don't know if I can get to this here actually. Yeah, I guess I could. Ah, this wrench sucks. I say I didn't really come here to take it off, but I'm not going to work with this wrench. You can almost like a pair of pliers, but four-footer oh, it's not really that heavy you put on dolly <laughs> Not to say they put on there. It can't go either way. Oh well, I'm just gonna put it on the side nicely. Just get a, a, a small pair of pliers. Not today, but next time when I take it, it's ready to go. That's the main thing. Slide it out, put on a dolly, maybe just. Um, Tying a dolly. Front stairs are kind of steep. Back stairs are really no good. It has to be the front stairs, I think. Once I'm down the stairs, be home free. Home free home. I mean, there's a fair amount of stairs. Problem is, I don't know what, what you can get for these nowadays. Those things. Just, I had five orders. Got to the point, couldn't sell them. They, they never went in here. Let's oh, see, I don't know what's in here. A lot of boxes, mystery stuff. Oh, more aluminum wheels. Maybe two. They look like aluminum, two for sure. I think. I'll bring a hammer next time, take it off the frame. Pull out the junk there. So, if I get my brown law comes to help me or something, or, or what I can do is I can just uh, slide it down the stairs slowly. The stairs are going anyways, but if I damage, it doesn't matter. It'll be new stairs. Put it down on the rough side. 
I guess one at a time, and if it's dry tomorrow, it'll be a little bit easier. Okay, well, I guess that's what I'm doing. So we're going to take the microwave and this, this contraption. We'll come, we'll lock it up and we'll call it a day here. That's all the good stuff that I can see. Uh, there's a stained glass window behind that drywall. I'm not sure the state of it. it looks okay on the outside, but can't tell cut up cracks in it. Okay guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Have a great day. Thanks for watching.